Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zari McQueen and today's video is going to be a story time. Before I start, let me just say long time no speak you guys. I feel like I haven't done a story time in forever because I really did not. And um, you guys always comment on my stuff like please more story times. And I have a lot of stories to tell but I went through this little thing with my camera lens which I have a new one as you guys can see and I'm super excited to be filming again um because girl camera lenses are no joke okay first of all they're expensive that's one two um like i'm into the technical stuff but not when it comes to cameras so reading the specs and stuff i didn't know what i was looking at i didn't know what i was paying for and i found one that you know seemed the best you know all i use this for is filming my videos and vlogging and stuff i use this camera for everything so and i'm not like professional that's why it didn't really matter to me if it had like super mega trillion, you know, zoom or whatever. But yeah, so I got a new camera lens. Um, a lot of things have been going on, you know, the transition to about to go to college. I leave in two weeks and then um, just working and trying to enjoy my summer and then just juggling all type of stuff. But yeah, so I'm back. And yes, yeah, today's story time is about my first time sneaking out the house and it features Dante. I know you guys want to hear a lot more about him and I could tell stories about Dante, you know, forever and all my story times will it could involve him. They're not going to, but they could. And yeah, so yeah, let's just get it started. Um, I didn't want to tell this story until I turned 18 because I feel like now I'm 18, I'm grown. I could tell these stories. And my mother literally, she does watch my videos, so she might see this. Oh, well, I'm 18, whatever. So anyway, it's my first time seeing that house. Let's get started, okay? So this was last summer, and me and Dante, we weren't serious. We weren't like you know we were talking but it wasn't like oh my god that's my boo like he was my boo but he wasn't like my boo i was having fun last summer that's why i met my ex-boyfriend or whatever um i was linking and drinking i was having a lot of fun and i was with my friends mostly like when people i don't know about you guys but when people say link and drink i think they mean they think i'm with a boy no i'm usually with my friends that's usually how it is but yeah anyway so yes so one summer night um i was in the house when like when it's after 10 o'clock last summer i didn't like leaving the house once it's and my parents used to say stuff to me like so when i was 17 16 17 if it's like nine o'clock okay i'm getting ready to go out but if it's like 10 and i'm still trying to do my makeup and stuff my parents be like where do you think you're going what time do you think you're coming in the house you know it's late you're leaving out late what time do you expect to come back and when they say stuff like that, like, it just makes me not want to go outside. So, like, whatever they say, little slip comments like that, it just super turns me off. So, that's why I kind of try to avoid getting, you know, getting dressed. So, like, I used to not go out after work like that because they always said stuff to me. Or I would try to go straight after I leave my job or, like, change at work. But I can't do that. Like, I literally, like, last summer, I didn't wear makeup going out. This summer, I do my makeup any chance I freaking get because I'm so, I'm, I'm good at it and I love it. So yeah, last summer I used to be like, oh my god, no, it's too hot for makeup. I'm gonna melt. But once I found the right products and stuff to use on my face, like I'm like, you know what, summer I could do my makeup, right? Cool. So I don't know what was so different about this night. I think it's cause Dante invited me. Okay, so it's like 10, 11, and I'm in my bed. You know, no eyebrows, girl. I'm chilling, laid up, feet kicked up, chilling in my AC or whatever as you know what we do in the summer when it's late. And I think it was like in the middle of the week or whatever. And I think I did work this day, right? So I look at my phone. My phone, my phone vibrates out of nowhere. And it's Dante. So Dante's like, um, you want to go get something to eat? I'll come pick you up. He said food okay and then it's dante so y'all know i was head over heels for dante even if he wasn't serious at this moment girl dante wanna take me out to eat, get something to eat uh what yes right so i text him back you know i wait a little because you can't let these boys know that you are waiting by your phone so i'm like okay sounds cool but then in my head i'm thinking it's like 11 o'clock where, do, where is my mother? What am I going to tell my mother? What am I going to tell them? Where where am I going? Right. So, okay. He's like, okay, I'm going to come pick you up. But with Dante, Dante takes forever, okay? I learned this about him. Um, If he tells you he's picking you up at one time, he's probably going to be there two hours later. And that's exactly what he did. Two hours like, What are you 
doing? Like, Dante, really? But Dante, at one point, he used to live in Jersey, but it wasn't that far from my house. But I used to, you know, you just give boys the benefit of the doubt, whatever. Or oh, I did, because y'all know I'm a, what am I? What am I? It's a, it's somebody called me something. They, they, they called me this under one of my other videos. Like, I, I didn't want to see the points. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to see the signs. I kept ignoring the signs. Well, that's what I do. When I like you, I'm ignoring the signs, but I got better. Anyway, so, right? So, it's 11 o'clock. I get in the shower, brush my teeth. I throw on, like, something cute. Well, I throw on the shirt, and I keep on my my pajama pants so i'm in my room i put on some eyebrows and then i'm on snapchat this is when snapchat just started getting lit like i literally couldn't insert the picture but i might forget while i'm editing this because i don't really like to edit my story times i like to just cut from the intro all the way to the end post it because i just want to be transparent with you guys even though i feel like i am already right so i'm on snapchat like you know put the time it's 12 16 i remember the time 12 16 and i'm on snapchat like mm you know waiting for i'm like waiting or whatever you know right thinking i'm some big hot shot not letting y'all know i'm about to sneak my ass out right so it's like 12 30 he says oh i'm i'm outside so i'm like oh shit how the hell am i gonna get out this house how am i getting out this house right so in the summer like it is now um everybody in my house like my sister and my parents they have the ac on because it's it gets so hot in my house but my room is like the hottest but we all have our doors closed and um my dogs my two dogs usually sleep in my parents room which is perfect even though they don't really bark they don't really give me a hard time anymore but that's perfect so i'm like all right this is what we're gonna do i have on my shirt um, I stick my phone in my bag, I put my keys away in my bag, and I, and I hold my shoes in my hand, right? So, um, everybody's doors closed. I make sure I check everybody. It's hot this night, so I'm making sure everybody's doors closed, right? So, I have my jeans on, and then I put my pajama pants. I have these pair of pajama pants. They're like, they're big, and they're comfy or whatever. So, I'm like, this is perfect. I have my jeans, and then I slip my pajama pants over my jeans, and um like my hair is down i think yeah i had i kept my hair down i had the, like a wavy weave in at the time right and i didn't want to make no footsteps so i had to hold my sandals in my hand and my keys in the bottom of my bag i had everything in the bottom of my bag i'm ready to go so i i'm tiptoeing down the stairs tiptoeing in my, i'm just tiptoeing and i had two flights of stairs in my house to get to the front door all right so i make it past the first the first flight Whew, good everybody's knocked out it's in the middle of the week everybody has work the next day nobody's up right so I tip down the next flight. My brother is sleeping. He's a really light sleeper, but he didn't hear. And yeah, my my doors, my front doors, like when you pull them in, you hear it literally. I I hear it in my room, so I'm like, oh shit, I gotta be mad careful. And I turn all the lights off so that they don't think, oh yeah, you know. So when I open the first the first door to my house, I unlock the lock. Then I twist it all the way, like you know, when you twist the knob and you keep it in, you pull it in like that, so it doesn't you don't hear the sound. So I get through the first door, boom. The second door, that door's a little heavy too. So I turn it all the way in and boom, right? So I just tip on down and then I'm like, I'm making, and then I see that he's parked up at the house, which is great. So I tiptoe down and I get in and I'm hoping he skirts off just in case. But last time my parents used to let me um go downstairs because he used to come to my house a lot, but like in the car, we would sit in front of the car and talk in the car, sit in front of the house in the car. So anyway, I made it inside the car, y'all. No, 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 no. Oh, I skipped the part. So when I'm in the hallway, I slip my pajama pants off, fold them up, and put them in my bag and put on my sandals. Then I do all that trickery with the door. So I'm like, whew. My heart is like literally pounding out my chest. Like my my heart beats per minute. It was probably like a thousand, okay? Because I'm like, oh shit. Like, what if I get caught? So I tip, I get in the car and I'm just like, who? And he skirts off or whatever. So we're like, what are we gonna eat? It's now it's like 1 a.m. and nothing's open in the middle of the week on a summer night. At least not food. A bar is probably open, but he said food. So I'm like, so Dante, what are we gonna eat? He like, I don't know. Honestly, I just got just wanted to see you. I'm like, you did not just lure me down here. Talking about food, talking about you just want to see me. We're going to eat something. So, of course, there's only, it's only like fast restaurants that the drive-thru is open 24 hours, right? 
So we go through the drive-thru at McDonald's. I get, I remember what I got. I got a strawberry lemonade, and I got six-piece nuggets, and I got a small fry, and they put an extra nugget. So I had seven nuggets, okay? And he didn't even get anything, right? So yeah. So we're in the car. We're talking. We're eating. And yeah, I just know that we talked for like a while, and then I'm just like, this is crazy. And he took, and like he was taking pictures of me, like little awkward pictures, and I'm like. Oh, maybe me and him could rekindle a flame. But I'm like, you know what? Nope, no, nope, nope. Dante, no. Mm -mm, no. So, long story short. Okay, so then we go, we drive to his house or whatever. And, you know, we're chilling. And then I'm just looking at the time. I'm like, you know what? I gotta go. Like, honestly, it's late. I don't know what my parents going to say when they wake up. And I'm not in the room. So, please, like, I just gotta go. So, I told him I had to go. And, yeah. So, after returning back home. I went into my hallway, closed the door real gentle, put my pajama pants right over my jeans, held my slippers in my hand, and I tiptoed right back up the stairs into my room. Mine was 5 o'clock in the morning by this time, and I tiptoed back up the stairs. My dogs are still in my parents' room, quiet as a mouse, not barking, not letting the cat out the bag. And then I slip off everything, and I just think, wow, Zaria, you did it. You did it, little Z. Congratulations. This was your first time to get out the house. And yeah, that's the end of my story time. It's short, simple, you know. It's a story time. It involves Dante. And yeah, so yes, thank you for watching. That's the end of my story time. I didn't get caught. I just taught you guys how you can sneak out the house. And yeah, keep some pajama pants in your bag, y'all. And slip it on and slip it off. And the reason I had the pajama pants on is just in case they saw me, like, um, in the kitchen or something, like, trying to get back upstairs, they would think, like, oh, she's just getting something to eat. Like, you know, her hair is down. You know, they won't think nothing of it. She just took her bonnet off. You know, you just got to play it off. You got to make all the scenarios just in case they catch you, okay? So, mommy, if you see this video, because I know that you're subscribed to my channel, um, I love you, and I'm a child of God, and we went to McDonald's, okay? So, yeah, um... Uh, <laughs> That's about it, y'all. Yeah, so thank you for watching. All my beauty-related, fashion-related videos will be filmed this weekend, and they should be up by next week. And, yeah, my college vlogs will be starting maybe the 24th, moving day. And, yeah, thank you for watching, and see you in my next video.